Thank you for joining us for a moment in the Word, a ministry of First Baptist Church of Pawnee. Remember when it was time to anoint a new king for Israel? The first king was Saul, and then the prophet Samuel was told to go to the home of a man named Jesse in Bethlehem and that one of his sons was going to be the next king for him to anoint. And several of the brothers passed before Samuel, and God kept saying, nope, nope, nope. And then finally Samuel said, well, is there anybody else? And they said, well, there's the youngest. He's out watching the sheep. Well, bring him. And, of course, the youngest was David. And so before David ever became the king of Israel, he was a shepherd watching sheep. I think he learned a lot of things from looking up at the heavens and seeing the glory of God like we saw in Psalm 19. And I believe he learned a lot by how much he cared for the sheep and how helpless sheep are without people. Sheep can't live without a shepherd. And so God always calls his people sheep and calls himself the good shepherd. That says something about us, how much we need him. But Psalm 23, I think a lot of that came from his experience as a shepherd, understanding God takes care of me like I take care of sheep. And he starts out Psalm 23, favorite psalm of most people. The Lord's my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and he leads me beside quiet waters. Have you ever looked at the Middle East? Newscasts about the Middle East, how much green do you see? You see a lot of gray, you see a lot of brown. You don't see much green. David's making a point. God finds the good stuff for me. Makes me lie down in the green pastures. And then one of the scary things for a sheep is running water. They understand that there's this natural fear of stepping out into running water and being swept downstream. He says, the Lord leads me beside the quiet waters. (laughs) For you OSU fans, the still waters. I guess nobody's really afraid of still water. But anyway, the green stuff and the good water, God takes care of me. And Jesus said, anybody who places his faith in him, he goes in and out and finds pasture. God takes care of him. Peter put it this way in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 25. You once were going astray like lost sheep, but now you've re- returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. Jesus is the good shepherd who laid down his life for us sheep, and he will never leave us or forsake us And he'll take care of every need that we have while we're alive. God bless you. All done.